solitary king carries the crown to a new land. Kingdom. This is the starter island. Really quick, I'm gonna see if it worked. Yes! Alright, I have managed to turn off the cloud save for this game, which has uh, allowed me to uninstall the game and uh, bring it back without all the save data. So we're starting off completely fresh on this one. And as long as I don't reinstall it, I should only keep what I have made so far. Light of fire, stand here. Drop coins to recruit. Stand here, buy a bow. Stand here, buy a hammer. Stand here, build a wall. Yes, I got Galvin. Oh. Wants me to get over here and get new people. Recruit one more. I could recruit both of them. To hell with only one more. Get another bow man. Build, expand, defend. Bye bye, ghosty of the previous queen. Wandered off, my dude. Hey, get that build the uh, second builder now. Perfect place for you to be at, good sir. There you are. No uh, caravan guy yet. Nope. Oh, thank you. I want to get past the wall. There you go. the uh, tra uh, caravan of goods guy. Every morning as long as he's around we can give him a gold and he'll drop a whole bunch of gold for us and then he'll go off and find more goods to trade with us. Good stuff. Now it's night time. We must wait. Just having to think. I gotta say, I'm pretty sure I should be able to see more than this. Nothing on side, you know, other side, eh? Probably a slow night because it's the first night. They don't want to go crazy. Okay, we can't get rid of this tree without getting rid of these guys.
Yep, he automatically drops goods every morning, and I can give him another gold, gold to go back out and get some more. Go, go, go. Let's get rid of these trees and open up a nice big field for the hunter. like this a uh, whole bunch of tall grass will come in and when the tall grass comes in when the regular grass uh, grows further then it'll make spawn points essentially for rabbits and the more rabbits the hunters get the more gold they'll make and the more gold I'll get that's how this particular little economy works I'm tempted to expand it further, but I'm not at the moment. Yeah, let the grass come in and let's see what it does. I'm hoping that it'll make the uh, the tall grass like we need. But I'm not sure. But we definitely can't expand this way. This will that'll cause problems. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to improve our archer numbers. Because that will also help us defend our walls better. Yeah, see that tall grass right over there? That's what I'm looking for. That's why these guys are probably making a bit of gold. Yep, the rabbit just spawned. Oh yeah, look at how much this guy got. Yeah, this side is perfectly fine the way it is right now. I'd only, uh, I would only add upgrades to this and build up a tower on that stone there. It would be the only additions I would do. Oh, awesome. Yeah, the grass vine came in. Oh, sweet. There's a second one. Cool. Cool, cool. Good stuff. Alright, there'll be plenty of rabbits in the morning. And we'll start building up our defenses and slowly gathering more guys to work for us. I think the next batch will become all workers and... After that, we'll get another two batches of uh, archers to defend our walls. Yep, there they are. Oh man, one of the little monsters got away. Uh, when they were defending the wall, they shot a rabbit and they dropped a gold coin and the monster ran off of it. That's something you also have to worry about too. I'm not entirely sure if them grabbing the money like that though actually helps them or not. Where's the other guy? There's gotta be another one. Thank you, Jan Butterer. And good luck to you.
Ah, there's the ship we need to get to. I can, if I so desire, I can get a farmer. Should be warned that there are also seasons in this game, and uh, farmers can become useless uh, when the winter hits. They'll just sit around in town and do nothing. No spooks, at least not on this side. This is the feeling I'm get I'm getting right now. So yeah, let's get that started. Let's see what else we got over here. Trust add as we explore, we unlock more things that includes uh, more uh, more uh, mounts to ride and so forth. See, the stream is still trying to play catch up, which is a little bit odd, but hey, whatever. Ha! Ah. Yep, no pearls on this side. Alright, so this side of the map is completely free for us to do whatever we want, whenever we want. That's why we still weren't attacked on the side last night. Get back to town, drop a few more coins. On my way, I'm going to drop off some more stuff at the ship to try and get the ship going.
give me all them shinies. Thank you. And I think that's currently the biggest I can make this right now. I don't think... Unless they actually do have it this early, I don't think I have the ability to unlock the next stages for civilization upgrades. You two are taking the longest time to get here. Would throw you money, but I get the feeling that you're not gonna be able to take it. Ah, here we go, an unlock. Really quick, gonna let the horse eat. Legit, if you let the horses eat, they can actually run for a longer time. We're halfway back by now. And there we are. Hasn't even started hopping yet. Grab that. Take him to a good patch of grass. I think the stream is actually legit caught up, or just about has. Took it a while, though, if I found its connection properly. Silly phone.
Dude, it's right next to you. Pick it up. Come on, where's the other guy? Should be poking his head out at any moment by now. Oh, that's the sound of a nasty portal opening. Oh boy. I forgot these guys haven't even gotten there yet. Um, okay. No, I didn't put enough down. I think. Get the coin and hurry! That's, that music and that sound effect we heard earlier is usually a sign of something nasty coming our way. Well, I think sometimes when they do the Red Moon thing, it doesn't have anybody show up, too. It's, it seems to be undecisive on that. Sometimes the worst things pop out, sometimes nothing pops out. It's odd. Okay, yeah, we got some guys. And that's how you take care of an evading army. Thank you. Yeah, no more upgrades. Go ahead and get some more stuff, even though I'm not sure we're going to need it. And we're going to race over here and finish this boat. So we can try and get out of here. Yep, there we go.
My workers are so slow. Now it's just a matter of the waiting game until we can get off this island. And the waiting game involves this group of men.
Oh, look at the time. It's half past. Where the bloody heck are they? Oh, they were running deers any sign. They might actually be getting close. Unless it's just the deer acting weird. They'll occasionally just go on random sprints, but not always. Usually if they start sprinting like that, it's because they're avoiding something. Oh, yep. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Thunderbucket. How many more do you have you murdered today? And away! Nine days, crown is safe. moment here we should see a map and we should also be given our new unlock as well as our new area we can visit there we go ah we unlocked the archer statue and we've unlocked a new island with three more locations to visit each island has a slightly different uh, thing uh, the difficulty of the monsters will improve, as well as uh, setting up other events that will happen. Including, and not, but not limited to, uh, seasonal changes and whatnot. Alright, we're in the next area. They've crashed again! Hey. How many workers should we bring with us? Only three. And three, yeah. So that's coming number four. Do we have some guys nearby here? No, that's where our boat is. Things slightly altered depending on where we end up. The ghost always also appears nearby the boat. I keep forgetting that that's a thing. It wants to lead you direction, even though you can just follow your guys. Can't get rid of that. We can get rid of the stuff on the other side, though, and get to our boat faster. So I'm thinking that clearing this is what we're going to have to lead with in order to get some more fields open.
Oh yeah, that opens up the field quite a bit. Should be getting some tall grass before too long. I'm not going to fix the walls up further right now because that's going to leave us open overnight. Let's drop some loot, I'm gonna grab it and we're gonna run to our left. Let's see if there's any camps nearby. So yeah, the different islands also be equal to different layouts. And this right here is one of the portal rifts. There's uh, always at least one end portal that's like a cliffside wall, but there, depending on how big the area is, there could be multiple smaller portals as well. And the fact that I'm finding this stuff in no camps is a bad thing. Archer right now. Alright, let's go around this way and see what we find really quick. Ooh. Yes. So the upgrade statues. Those upgrade statues, you can charge them up to three times. Each charge will last a complete day. And for the archer statue, you uh, get magical arrows for your archer, uh, all of your archers, which will do double damage and have a better chance of hitting enemies. Let's put this right here, because I'm going to push this side more. secure the boat and after we secure the boat I'm gonna be putting money on that every once in a while but I'm also gonna be pushing this for so we can get closer to that statue and probably do this up another defense now. It's night time. Alright. Uh, 
I heard something, but they must have just finished. out of the way as we can. Keep pushing this forward. I want to find the next wall position on this side of the uh, ship so we can defend the ship while we build it up. Guys, keep pushing. It's clearing up. Just keep uh, making this bigger. In fact, if we can defend the Archer Tower, that'd be amazing. Give me another wall position, I need it. Is this gonna be one? It's hard to tell. I'm not gonna make another tree collection right now because they need to start heading back. Dang it, nothing. Alright. I think we just made the field bigger. I still haven't found any more uh, camps to get more archers and stuff. This has been a most precarious starting island. Anxiously waiting for him to drop my stuff. It. 
more of the uh, that of the top of the archer thing, and here's what I've been looking for. The upgrade shrine. We're now Stone Age. <laughs> See, I just Wood Age, which means I can upgrade things even further now. I must protect my people. clear. Have we been attacked on this side? I think we have been. I'm um, amazed I haven't found a portal yet. Because I say that now and then I'm going to get jumped. Hand back. They are. Really are. I'm still surprised I didn't bump into a portal yet. But this means I can now actually efficiently uh, defend all sides as soon as I can get to this camp here. Start collecting some more guys. It took me five days to find this camp. There it is. Which I very narrowly called it and went back. Let's try to get as close to this camp as we possibly can and uh, start building up our reinforces in the next available tower site. Looks like this one will be it. Tut tut boys, you're gonna come over here.
there we are. We need more archers effective right now. Has one hell of a stretch of road before we hit our first defensible area. Run, you fools! Run! Don't worry about me. Keep going. You fool! Push them up to here. Should be close enough that I can safely get people from the camp. Yep, hi guys. No closer. I want enough room that the hunters can still hunt and get some game. And I also want to make sure that the camp doesn't disappear on us. Backside's over here.
Start me off with practically nothing. All right. Some of that sweet moolah. Tempted, but no. city upgrades. Hmm, nobody showed up.
Okay. Just making sure that wall was a tier 4, it is. Since I just upgraded the city walls to tier 4. Okay, the defensives should also be up there too. sure why he's moving. He, he just started moving and then he stopped. I'm thinking the boat's heading that way, which means I should probably check over this way to make sure I find the uh, map we need for our unlock. get more gold and what does the map unlock um first of all uh uh Dirk Haas, hello again uh i get more gold either through my hunters hunting down animals and collecting gold off of them oop yeah this is way too far out the i passed a portal here i'm gonna have to come out here earlier in the morning yep i'm gonna risk it i'm risk it just to get here okay um Either by hunters collecting, uh, hunting down animals and collecting gold off of them, or by farmers making food and collecting gold off of that. And then I get the gold off of them. Uh, the other way is that there's a uh, merchant guy that I send out for one gold and he'll come back with a handful of gold. And I can get that every morning off of him. That's the guy standing right here. As for the map unlock, the finding maps on these, uh, in these areas will unlock either the next island 
and or a, another secret unlock for this area. The map we got in the first area unlocked the archer statue, which I'll probably run by in a little bit. Which gives me magic arrows from my archers to help defend the city. As long as I keep it charged up. There's one for gar uh, for the uh, knights, which will give them, uh, I believe it's magic swords that do double damage. I can't remember for sure, don't quote me on that. Oh, a secret unlock, yeah. And there's other things, like eventually we'll unlock hermits. Hermits will come in three different kinds of flavors. There's the ballistics hermit, which will make uh, explosive towers for you. There's a ballista hermit, which get, makes a giant air, uh, self-made arrow tower. Oh yeah, there they are. Get rid of that guy. There. Come on. Oop, got his helmet off. There you go. And the third hermit is a chef, and I want him the most when it comes to endgame. Endgame, it's ridiculously hard to get guys to come to your uh, city, and they'll frequently get jumped on the way there. But what the uh, what the um, cook will do is uh, he makes food, which will attract the guys that even got knocked out. And they'll still come to your village, and you can give them money again and get them going. Which is really important that they get to your town and get ready as fast as possible, no matter what. Because it's super hard otherwise to get people in the end, in the end island. Or endish island. I've never actually seen the end island because the game got too difficult so far. I didn't realize the chef was a thing until uh, I'd actually stopped playing the game last time. Yep, yeah, okay. You get gold. And you get gold. Also, for each of these guys I'm giving them a gold to, they'll automatically head back to the town. I can uh, set up uh, different tools for them to take and they'll start automatically uh, acting on those rolls. If I drop a bow, they'll start becoming hunters. If I drop a sheet, if I have the end, uh, the high and uh, castle, I can collect shields and they'll become guards. And if I get scythes here, I can make them into farmers. And over on the other side is hammers and they'll turn into workers. Speaking of that merchant, thank you. Yeah, let's go over here. I'll give you your one gold so you can go and collect more stuff for me, thank you. Now it's like half way through the day again. I can't run past that portal right now. Let me think, let me think. Let's make... Should I make some more workers? I think I got enough workers right now. I really need more archers. I'm down to one coin. Also, I need coins so I can uh, get the stuff we need to repair our boat here. And as soon as we get the re boat repaired, we can start pushing it to the shore and escape to the next island or next zone. All right, both these guys are going. Keep going. Yeah, here's the archer statue. Keep this charged up and our guys have got magic arrows to defend the city with. Magic arrows do double damage and have a better chance of hitting enemies on the other side of the wall. Stop wandering out over there, worker. You make me cringe every time. They can break the wall? Oh yeah, they can break the wall. <laughs> They got they got siege monsters at one point if you last long enough. No, uh, archers or hunters and guards will automatically protect the walls, but it does take uh, gold to build the walls. 
and it takes uh, our workers to uh, fix them every morning after they've been damaged. Or is it good to watch the wall? Um, if there seems to be trouble, then it's probably a good idea to see what's going on and make sure that nothing's getting through. And if they are getting through, what's causing it? Oh, hey, that guy got a, got a rabbit. Oh, <laughs> the knight picked it up, and I'm fine with that. The knight, the guards are knights, if you will. Uh, when they collect gold, it'll actually be used to help protect them from being uh, knocked out by the monsters. Money, please. Turn off early. Let's see if we can get over there. Oh, dang it all, horse. Of course you're running out of energy. Just when I need you to push the hardest you can, you start panting on me. Sorry guys, can't help you right now. We'll need to get some guards so we can push that portal. Bye! Treasure box. Okay, is there a map here? There's no map here. Okay. I've seen everything on this side. If we get the portal that passed over here earlier, that hole in the wall turns into a portal later. much in there. Huh, that's not even rich. If I got a good field going with archer, with uh, hunters constantly going, oh, they drop more than that and they'll go. Those guys are crazy active if you get in the nice open field with a lot of rabbits. Oh, shoot. Please, Mr. Monster, don't hurt my face. Thank you, bye-bye. Horse, I really need you to mush right now. Go. If uh, one of the monsters hits my king or queen and I don't have any gold, I lose the crown. And if I lose the crown to one of the monsters, they run off of it and I lose. End game. Why do trees have options to give them gold? I, I can uh, essentially use a gold to leave a marker on a tree to tell my workers to come over there and chop down trees. Uh, and when they chop down the trees, they get the gold back. And sometimes they'll even get double gold, so... Oh. Cool worker, stop poking your head up. I saw that guy get smacked and he had to pick up his hammer again. There we go. There you go, good sir. over here and there should be two more guys at camp waiting to be picked up. At least out here I can stop whenever I need to. Oh yeah. Good thing I'm passing by right now.
Yeah, they are. And away they go. Do you have gold? Thank you. That's a good question. Do you guys... Nope. The knights are all full of gold? Excellent. That means they can take a lot of damage and not even care. Holy cow, dude! You've been hoarding. And like I said, those archers can get crazy out there. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get the ship going a bit. I'll bring some workers over. Yep, there they go. Let's drop some more. Yeah, we'll leave it at that for a moment. I'm surprised you're not inside. Oh. Did that come from one particular side or is that just overall sound? Let's collect those remaining shields, shall we? night okay all right merchant I'm waiting for those goods drop there we go that's right you don't have to go away anymore there you go thank you for your hospitality Those guys are going to become guards for the uh, left side of the city. I need to charge up the statue. And check on how much my freelance rangers have been doing here. Oh yeah, thank you. for the second camp guy to come out. There he is. Yeah, that's how I can tell the guards are done collecting gold if they are not instantly racing off after the gold coins are dropped and the guys pick it up and automatically drop it, then that means that they're good. They're waiting for me to tell them to go fight a portal. Not just yet. I want some more preparations done first. 
I want both sides to have guards and some extra hunters. Our new guards have not come in yet. Still walk up. As a matter of fact, I'm going to suggest we get some more hunters first. Nope. The hunter's left one, huh? You too, eh? Alright. Very nice. Nothing? Isn't that a couple nights in a row of nothing? Hmm. Oh, because you guys are leaving stuff in the field, I bet. Dang it. Not yet. I need more of you guys. Um, I'm going to race past the portal since I'm right here. And let's see what's over here. Yes, there we go. There's a map. Unlock! And past that, is it just the dock? Just the dock. All right. I locked everything I can right now. I need your buddy to poke his head out so we can get you both forward to town. There you are.
Thank you. Thank you again. Waiting to see if more stuff comes out here. I want to at least finish this island before I stop the stream for tonight. We were supposed to have our tabletop game, but uh, things got cancelled because we had one or two no-shows again tonight. Uh, to the top game, yeah. Um, for I want to say the better part of half a year now, I think uh, we've uh, saved Saturdays for doing uh, tabletop RPGs with uh, Ozzy and a couple of the other guys, and um, we had two no shows. I think one was a planned no show, but the other one was supposed to show up an hour later, and they still weren't there. So it's like okay. Uh, we've been doing the, the uh, Star Wars tabletop RPG uh, recently, and we're going to go until uh, Ozzy's done trying to GM that. I'm also making plans right now to do a 5th uh, edition Dungeons & Dragons Conan game in the off weeks that he needs to plan. And I at least have plans for our setup, and we'll see what uh, comes out of the character generation when we uh, finally get to that. start looking a little more like a boat. Okay, I'm going to be doing my first Steam D thing next month. Ah. Depending on which version of D&D you're playing, it can be very easy to get into. Um, second edition is really difficult, but you'll get the grasp of it eventually. Uh, third edition was a little bit easier to get. Uh, one or two of the rules were retweaked for logical reasons and became a much more streamlined game. Fourth edition is like probably the most streamlined Dungeons and Dragons game, but it's also uh, kind of set up in a really weird way where it doesn't quite work as well as the other uh, tabletop RPGs. And then fifth edition, I think, has been the best one so far. It still is missing like some gear. But for a rule set, it's actually a pretty solid rule set. Again, yeah, doing. A, uh, I think I'm doing fifth edition since the GM told me to download the fifth edition character sheet app. That that's most likely uh, what they want you to do then. So you'll you'll be playing the more uh, reliable rule set. Um, it's not as say sped up as fourth edition, but it has enough uh, of a speed up that you still feel like you're doing something. It doesn't feel like it's just then you ease through everything, like 4th edition kind of did. The really weird thing about 4th edition is that essentially they set it up as a MMORPG. Is the best way to describe it. And, th and that uh, a lot of people are allowed a really simplified character builds. And it just kind of makes you go err. It loses a lot of the originality that the other rule sets had. I think 5th edition brought back a lot more of the originality and the ability to make your own character feel like your own character.
Well, keeping it streamlined enough that people aren't going to get confused. Like, like I was saying before, second edition is probably is for as solid as a rule set as it is. Second edition is probably the most clunky to get because calculating uh, your ability to hit something required like backwards math in some parts, and it's just like, why would you do it this way? Like, Thako. Uh, Thako, as they called it in 2nd edition, is just absolutely the worst. Get over here, and we're just gonna lay down a ton of gold and see how much of the boat I can get finished here. Yep, not done. Close though. really coming along yep hopefully next day or two in game we should be able to get that boat done also waiting for those guys to come in and collect these shields so I can make more bows for more archers and then the next thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to send out our uh, Our eastward uh, guard patrol to go take out that portal. where the little guys are coming from the portals yeah there's uh from what i saw on this island there's two archway portals in between the either end of uh, the map and then the uh westward end of the map has the big canyon wall with a second portal on it we could technically destroy all the portals but we don't need to we just need to be able to get off and go to the next area
I'm gonna leave this coin here and he'll come out eventually. There he is. There you go. Yeah, these are like little hermit. Uh, these aren't the hermits we're looking for. These are essentially like homeless peasants. We'll give them a gold. They become what I call civilians. And then from there you can give civilians tools and they'll become different classes. Ooh, thank you, hunters. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, that should be enough to finish the boat. Also, upgrade our archer tower, our archer statue, and keep them charged up. Oh, awesome. Okay. Those are the last couple pieces I need to get nailed on, and then we can finish the boat. Alright, those shields have been picked up. Everything's ready for more archers. You guys go fix the wall. We're not going to fish the boat just yet. I got another plan. We need to get rid of that portal on this side first. So it is time to send the... It's time to send our uh, city guard here. And go over to the flag here and then you notice it lights up. Group one. Group two.
All right, it's more than time now. We need to get this boat going. That's the other thing I forgot to mention too. Uh, with the portals, when you destroy them, you can use the leftover energy that's there and send workers over to uh, build your own teleportation portal with what energy remains so you can teleport around the area a little bit faster without having to run everywhere. Can I level up my horse? You can't level up the horse, but there are unlockable mounts. Much like uh, getting the statues and the other upgrades. Uh, eventually we'll find a black horse, which will be able to run a lot faster and for longer. There is a unlockable uh, deer, which uh, has a uh, much faster uh, walking speed. And uh, like it has a decent walking speed, but it has like a double time run run distance or double time run speed for the same amount of distance. And it hops when it runs. And there's also an armored horse, a bear. A bear will actually help you attack. And there's also the unicorn. The most magical thing about the unicorn is when you let Ita recharge, it poops out gold, and you can collect the gold like it's normal coins. <laughs> ah, there we are. The teleporter is ready. One gold to teleport. For you to show up, you never showed up while I was here. All right. Looks like we're almost about ready to depart the island. Might be another day yet, as they're might be another day yet as they're getting closer to the dock. Oh, this guy finally showed up. Hi. There you go.
go. Let's help speed things up a bit. Is this the dock? Yeah. Can I chop these trees? Yes, I can. Alright. Bring some workers over to get rid of this. The more the area is unwooded, the uh, faster the guys with the boats will move. move sluggish as is, so they don't need a more force to hold them back. Waiting on it. <sighs> Something to think. I should have checked this sooner. There we go. Now it should be more easily heard. <laughs> now don't have to try to yell over this music! The only guy they sent out, we couldn't afford more. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know the walls back at the town probably need patching right now, but try not loud. I say it's getting a bit foggy. Don't know where it came from, but suddenly we have more fog here than the movie The Fog.
And away we go! Map unlock. <gasps> we unlocked finding the dog. Oh, and the second island. Or, yeah, the second line we unlocked. Oh, we unlocked puppers. So yeah, here's the thing. It doesn't let you revisit the same island over and over. You have to keep going between the two different islands now to unlock everything. So I guess we'll head here next. Yes, yes, previous queen ghost. I understand we're supposed to go this way. It's kind of where the guys are going already. How many people can I take with me? I can take uh, a dog if I have one, myself, my horse, four guards, three workers, and I think as long as I have him, I can also bring the uh, the hermit. Oh yeah, uh, having some starter starting gold for an island is actually really nice. When they start you off on the first island, you're like, Hi! I got about ten gold! Help me! <laughs> we got the puppy! Everybody? I think that's everybody. Alright, one more bow. Alright, I wanted to get over here just so we could end the stream. So, yeah, it's actually getting late. I should actually be in quiet mode right now for uh, the rest of the people here. So, uh, with that being said, so, uh, thank you for watching, uh, um... I keep trying to say your name and I keep messing it up from a distance. Uh, Derek, uh, Derek has, uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for anyone else that might be watching uh, the streams afterwards. And uh, I'll be calling it a night here. Let me know if you want me to continue playing Kingdom. I wouldn't mind at least doing it for now if I need a filler or something. But uh, tomorrow night I'll be coming back to Elder Scrolls Skyrim and playing that for the next three days for my regular streams. The Arcas. Okay. The Arcas. Okay. Uh, but anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy, and I'll catch you all tomorrow evening.